Oh! Well, this winter hasn't gone how we thought it would so far. Uh, it's been relatively warm, but the cold is coming, so eat the f up. Clevelanders need to put on an average of 15 pounds per year, every year, until the day that they die, just to stay warm and deal with the cold here. It's like bears. You gotta put on that weight, except for we're not gonna hibernate and sleep for three months because we have f***ing jobs. We're a city that likes to drink heavy beers and eat fatty, calorie-dense food wearing things that say Cleveland shit on them. Some might, in fact, say that's what we do best. We need to have one of the best hospitals in the world and a second highly regarded hospital in the vicinity as well just to deal with what this kind of lifestyle does to the human endocrine system. The Cleveland Clinic was bred out of necessity. I hear a lot of complaints about Cleveland from people that come to visit from like Chicago, New York, LA, saying we don't have enough of a nightlife. You hear professional athletes, that head Joe Kim Noah saying, oh, there's no nightlife, Cleveland's boring. F off. All right, sorry we don't have the dancing and the nightclubs that you require. But instead, you know what I can do? I can direct you to about five different places off the top of my head that serve a cheeseburger with grilled cheese as the buns. If that's not good enough for you, f right on off. We have great restaurants in Cleveland. We have amazing spots. I've traveled, I've been places. I'll put our food scene up against damn near anyone in the country. You got your Slimans, you got your Sokolowskis, you got the Melt, of course or just melt. I don't want to sound like an a You got uh, Pickwick and Frolic. You have Mabel's Barbecue. You have Greenhouse Tavern. You got your Big Al's Diner, Edison's Pizza, Angelo's Pizza. You have Timber Lodge and Medina, uh, Red Steakhouse, and a whole bunch more that I'm forgetting. Woodstock Barbecue, Proper Pig Barbecue. Delicious, delicious foods. This place is stupid with places to eat. Who cares about dancing? If I were to put a label on what Cleveland food is. I would say probably Polish comfort food would be our MO. Uh, you know, your, your pierogies, your brats, and then of course, the greatest invention since the electric stoplight, Polish boy. Ah yes, the Polish boy. We didn't invent pierogies and brats, we know that. We did invent the Polish boy though. Polish boy, you take a uh, a kielbasa, you put it in a bun, you throw some french fries on top, some either barbecue sauce or a little hot sauce, depending on your tastes, and then you need a, a good, sweet, creamy coleslaw on top of that. Hell, maybe you want to take a little bit of a walk on the wild side, babe. Put a little bit of pork shoulder on there, turn it into a Polish girl. Bend in genders, it's delicious. Now, the Cleveland foods are, is, it's gotta be Michael Simon. I mean, he's got Mabel's, Lola, B-Spot. He's the Cleveland food guy, but over the years, we've had some different food icons that have been from here, such as 1927, a young Italian gentleman, Hector Boyardi, uh, came to Cleveland and he opened his restaurant on East 9th and Woodland called uh, Giardino d'Italia, d'Italia, I don't know, I don't speak Italian, I think it's Garden of Italy, it's my guess, I don't know. That Boyardi name may sound familiar to you because uh, yes, that is the same guy as the Chef Boyardee can food line. He was an actual chef, he is a real person, and he got his culinary start sort of in New York, but really started to shine in the city of Cleveland. He opened his restaurant again, East 9th and Woodland, and he came up in Cleveland. Should be a, a larger point of pride than it is, um, but who would have thought that somebody with that kind of culinary background would end up having a uh, human dog food empire. <laughs> oh, don't get mad at me for saying that. It is what it is. I love how fancy of a name his restaurant was. And his real name, Etoyo Boyardi. <laughs> it is just wet dog food for humans in 2019. It's hilarious. Don't get me wrong. I, I certainly do love Chef Boyardi food. As a matter of fact, if you look right there, the scar on my hand, a 19-year-old Brian Kenny got that because I love me some Chef Boyardee and my can opener was broken and I tried to hulk through the can and the lid went straight in and I had to get 19 stitches. I love Chef Boyardee enough to bleed for that shit. Cleveland's also home to Stouffer's. I'm sure you've seen the large building as you're driving on the freeway, so between Stouffer's 
and Chef Boyardee, we like have the, the market for sad single fathers just cornered. Well, that's about it for me. Get yourself out there. Explore the Cleveland restaurant scene. Go try new places. I listed some pretty basic ones. Uh, I'm not that into it, not into really into the foodieism. Uh, but go try some new stuff. Try some Cleveland food and make sure to eat a lot because the cold weather is coming and you're gonna want that insulation. And also do yourself a favor, kick things up a notch with some of Cleveland's finest export, Bertman's Ballpark Mustard. We'll talk a little bit more about that next week. Go Browns.